Okay, so it's kind of sucks that I even have to do this. Um, normally, like every other young adult in here, w would normally be you know listening to cartoons and music and shit. But this fucking shit that's going on with Obama and our government is just. I know it's been going on for a while. It's just too hard to uh, ignore. So let's see some recently. Oh, uh, DavidIck.com, and I'm gonna read this article here. Just part of it. it says the United States of America stands exposed in the eyes of the entire world as the number one terrorist threat to the future of humanity. And I motherfucking agree. And, you know, just to give you a little background information, I'm an average American with an average job doing average stuff. But this is affecting all of us. And a lot of us on our level are fucking pissed off because Obama is just going fucking ballistic and crazy, and he's just doing whatever, whatever the hell he wants, and even though, you know, 60% of whoever voted does not want to go to war with Syria, you know, we shouldn't even be in any war because we should have a peaceful fucking earth. That's what we're striving towards all these thousands of years, like... He, he's not helping anything at all. He's just fucking it up. Like this says, and you know what? I can say this shit, and it's awesome because I'm not affiliated with any newscast or, or anything. And I talk to people like myself and, you know, their friends and whoever they talk to. So, back to the article, as it says... As the U.S. prepares to launch an overt war on Syria, the covert war has been raging for 30 months. The vast majority of humanity can finally see through all its decades of pretense and conceit as the world's model of democracy, which we have none, and international law. And what they see is the ugly opposite. It's, it's horrible. It's disgusting. The U.S. is a terrorist state that holds international law, democracy, and human rights in utter contempt. It is ready, as it had always been, to kill countless civilians for its selfish political ambitions. <sighs> that is the conventional definition of terrorism. Syria's president, Bashar al-Assad, made a profit, profound point recently when he said, that his country has faced aggression for more than two years, but only now is the real enemy revealing itself, the U.S. and its minions. But the U.S. terrorist state is not just being called out over Syria, it is being revealed as the enemy to the entire world. And, you know, what? Uh, one thing Obama said when we were all watching the debate, choosing between Mitt Romney and Obama, he basically said, you know what? Anybody threatens us, we're gonna bomb their ass. So, I mean, not perfect quotes, but that's what he said. And that's already aggression, and that's a threat to the entire world. <laughs> like, we have, we're spending all this money on military people, you know, being in other people's civil wars, you know, I mean, it started out as good intentions, you know, oh, these people, you know, they're being, you know, crushed, you know, they can't even have, like, a democracy, so, all right, we'll let that slide, you know, even though we're still, you know, in war or whatever, but our ultimate goal is to be peaceful. We should have a military like Japan does that is defense only. We shouldn't be like taking over in other people's wars. Like 
yeah, maybe we're backboning, but Jesus Christ. <clears throat> People getting heated up over this shit, you know? It's this isn't what we want to pay attention to. This isn't what we want our country to be. We're we're terrorists now, like, you know? There was there was also another picture. It's it's one of those slides, oh, what you think you are, what other people see you are, what these people think you're doing, what you're actually doing. And basically it said America thinks it's a great big family, which we should be a great big family with the fucking world because we're all brothers and sisters on the same godforsaken rock, you know? So we gotta ugh, keep the peace, man. You know, it, it, it starts with ourselves, you know, we're good to our neighbors and, and, and other people, but we have so many problems going on already, like people who don't have jobs, who can't find jobs, who can't get cars to get to jobs, who can't afford their own living situation, like myself. And other people, I know, because our wages aren't even stacking up to what we actually need to live. And, you know, so we have our own problems, you know. We gotta fix that shit. But, you know, even, even when o Obama was talking <laughs> during the debate, I know I'm going back a while, but he uses the diversion tactics. They would ask a question and he'd be like, oh yeah, yeah. And then he'd start talking about the children, the children of America, they're our future, all the children. I'm looking for all the children. But the point is, he's just fucking distracting you for what the hell else is going on over there. So that's one thing. Um, the French backed off, you know, they want a peaceful political solution, um, you know, the, the British voted against it, you know, that's all good. Um, and apparently Obama backed off for a day so far, but John Kerry is saying that they have, you know, more proof of, you know, attacks or whatever, and basically is saying we're still going to go through it and we're going to start a fucking war. Because we really need another war on this planet, you know? We need to get everybody all hyped up and pissed off because, you know, we can't just help people. And, and it's just more bullshit after the next. Like, um, all that shit, you know, Snowden. Sorry for my language, by the way. Um, All of the stuff that Snowden leaked and <clears throat> it's just disgusting to see what our government is and to stand behind them. It's just like, ugh, I don't want to be associated with that, you know? We, ha we, we, we don't even have democracy. Oh, we're a democracy people. But, like, they put two people against each other when there's a whole array of category of people that could be our president, but for some reason, we only have one against the other. And, of course, you can write someone else in, but how many people are going to do that? So, and it's just bullshit. They claim they're Republican or Democratic just to get one side or the other. We, and both of those terms are just bullshit anyway. Um, you know, maybe, maybe these things worked before, but they're not working anymore. We need a more efficient way to be a democratic country and hear the voice of the people. Because people don't want this shit. You know, we want, anyway, um, <clears throat> also, this goes along with <clears throat> a, um, a warning message 
that was broadcasted in the UK in 1977, and I will put the link below, but um, basically a voice came over the broadcast for a couple minutes, and I'll read the transcription right here. It says, uh, a police spokesman told AP and UPI that the message was taken seriously. They were frightened and generally scared. A voice came over, spoke slowly and deliberately, and says, this is the voice of Gramaha, the representative of the Asta Galactic Command speaking to you. For many years now, you have seen us as lights in the sky. If you can look anywhere on YouTube, there's tons of videos, lights in the sky, you know, doing patterns and zipping across ways. They're not, you know, planes don't. And he says, For many years now, you have seen us as lights in the skies. We speak to you now in peace and wisdom as we have done to your brothers and sisters all over this, your planet Earth. We're brothers and sisters. We live here together. We've grown up in the same stuff. We come to warn you of the destiny of your race and your world so that you may communicate to your fellow beings the course you must take to avoid the disasters which threaten your world and the beings on our worlds around you. It says, this is an order that you may share in the Great Awakening as the planet passes into the new age of Aquarius. And like I said, this was in 1977. So the new age can be a time of great peace and evolution for our race. We should be bringing ourselves to a higher peace instead of fighting. You know? And, but only if your rulers are made aware of the evil forces that can overshadow their judgments. Be still now and listen, for your chance may not come again. For many years, your scientists, governments, and generals have not heeded our warnings. They have continued to experiment with the evil forces of what you call nuclear energy. Atomic bombs can destroy the earth and the beings of your sister worlds in a moment. The wastes from atomic power systems will poison your planet for many thousands of your years to come. We who have followed the path of evolution for far longer than you have long since realized this, that atomic energy is always directed against life. We bombed Japan and they still don't have a military to start attacking people because they're peaceful, you know? They, they don't want to destroy this planet in tons and tons, thousands of innocent lives. So, so um, we who have followed the path of evolution for far longer than you have long since realized this. Atomic energy is always directed against life. It has no peaceful application. It's true. It's just, you don't listen to our word, we're going to wipe you out. So its use and research, research into its use must be seized at once or you will all risk destruction. All weapons of evil must be removed because yeah maybe you know science we we can make create this these things but the thing is if you have them some insane mofo like Obama is gonna go ahead and use them against our own people and like I said we have other shit to fucking worry about we have poverty we have apparently there's I forgot the exact number, but like 8 million homes abandoned, emptied, you know, foreclosed in our country, but more, you know, 
like a few million people less than that. Like three million people are homeless. Like why can they can't they not live in those homes that are just wasting away, you know, when people could make them flourish? <sighs> the time of conflict is now past the race of which you are part of may proceed to the highest planes of evolution if you show yourselves worthy to do this. You have but a short time to learn to live together in peace and goodwill. Small groups all over the planet are learning this and exist to pass in the light of the dawning new age to you all. You are free to accept or reject their teachings, but only those who learn to live in peace will pass to the higher realms of spiritual evolution. Hear now the voice of Ramaha, the representative of the Asa Galactic Command, speaking to you. Be aware also that there are many false prophets and guides operating on your world. They will suck your energy from you, the energy you call money, and will put it to evil ends, giving you worthless dross in return. Your inner divine self will protect you from this. You must learn to be sensitive to the voice we're in, within. You know that voice. You've heard it, and sometimes you question it, but do you ever hear, you know, hear the voice when you're like, uh, I don't, don't want to listen to you, and they're like, well, this is going to happen, and you're like, I don't want to listen to you, so you do it anyway, and then it happens, and you're like, oh, fuck, I, I had no clue, you know, or, you know, so... Listen to the voice, you have to be sensitive to it. That can tell you what is truth and what is confusion, chaos, and untruth. Learn to listen to the voice of truth of, with, which is within you and you will lead yourselves onto the path of evolution. This is our message to you, our dear friends. We have watched you growing for many years as you too have watched our lights in your skies. We know that we are here and that there are more beings on and around your earth than your scientists admit, and this was years back, we are deeply concerned about you and your path towards the light, and we will do all we can to help you. Have no fears, seek only to know yourselves, and live in harmony with the ways of your planet Earth. We of the Astro Galactic Command thank you for your attention. We are now leaving the planes of your existence. May you be blessed with the supreme love and truth of the cosmos. I'll post a link to that. Did I say that already? <sighs> but I mean, what the fuck are we doing? Like, there, as I've said before, we need something so that we can, we can actually all be a democracy that our word can be heard. And it's not every four years on vote day where half of us miss it and half quarter of us are blind to whatever the people are saying in their millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars of advocating and advertising for them. And, you know, the swishy swashy way of political people who, who talk and just tell you whatever the fuck you want to hear. So, you'll vote for them. It's just going to be a bit too much. I mean, unrelated, but I'm already having problems. I'm suffering in fucking pain because every time I reach for something, pain shoots down my back. I got pain in my back all over and I have herniated discs and I can't even get some fucking medication up in here for over a fucking year. Like I cry sometimes because I'm hurting so much and I just try to like, you know, push it aside, you know, like, like, oh, you know, it's not there, but like, I have no help because these medicines don't fucking work and apparently they do for a lot of people, but I have nerve pain, I mean, I can't work, I, it's bothering me to sit here right now and be at this computer, but still, yet, yeah, I can get no help because I must suffer because 
they don't want to distribute what they have because they put it under classification of controlled substances and that must mean it's bad even though it does nothing fucking anything but take your pain away and on top of that they're like oh just you know go use some aspirin for months or whichever one when it is acetaminophen tylenol um motrin basically they're like yeah use motrin yeah i'm just going to use that for a few months as it's you know ripping through my stomach cuz it like tore through my stomach and i can't use it and it didn't help fucking anyway but they keep telling me this shit and I had to go to the hospital a few times because I was going to fucking kill myself because I'm in so much fucking pain and can't get any fucking help and it's fucking ridiculous. So, I accrued like $45,000 for being there for a week and $60,000 another time. And... You know, I had everything squared away, and I get out of the hospital, and all the doctors are on board. They're like, yeah, you know what, we're going to take care of you now. And then I get a big fuck you when I get out. And more months of trying to just fucking hang in there and not get pissed off that, you know, you know, just, just take a deep breath, you know, roll it off. You know, maybe next time you go in, it'll work. You know, you'll you'll have better luck. You know, maybe they'll... They'll invent something or, you know, they'll know something that will take your pain away. Which I've had oxycodone, which took my pain away, but I can't have it because it's bad. Well, it does nothing but take your pain away. Like, it doesn't get you high or anything. It's retarded and just makes me so frustrated. And at the same time, like, you know, like, like I've been worrying about my own stuff. You know, on top of trying to, like, keep a living, you know, ha have a home to live in when I when I can't even work. You know, I was going to get a second job. I was going to go to college. You know, I was going to go into medicine, um, science, biology, like, chemistry. And, and now I can't even sit in a classroom for, you know, 20 minutes. Because I'm sitting on a fucking soft bed and it's tearing through me and yeah so I was dealing with my own shit but this shit like it grabbed my attention because we gotta do something like you know someone's gonna kick the shit out of Obama like <laughs> I hate to keep saying that but like it's not even democracy like we have no say in this shit like we are Americans but we have no say like what is that and also obama was attacking our own hometowns saying we're gonna go in and find out who's mentally unstable and take all their guns away which basically says we'll be powerless against them because you know they can just rush in and do whatever they want and Lulsec, the leader of Anonymous, who last year, a few years back, you know, was had, you know, fucked FBI Fridays, he, okay, so here's, here's the article. According to the FBI, you're looking at Sabu, the leader of Lulsec, and the de facto king of Anonymous, easily the most notorious and influential Hacker alive today. One thing, he just turned in all his people to the police. But it wasn't his fault, because this is what the FBI says. He didn't go easy. It was because of his kids. He didn't want to go away to prison and leave them. That's how he got them. So basically, they, I don't, I don't know if that's called a bribe. So. But it's fucked up. They used his children against him, and he had no choice but to turn in these people so that we couldn't get the information that we need as people. Like, we, how are we supposed to trust our government? How are we supposed to stand behind this? But, 
anyway, I gotta go. My back's hurting. It's basically what I wanted to say. But this shit is getting insane. Like, we need a solution. We need a better way of dealing with this because we have people not eating and not eating healthy food because all they can afford, even with food stamps, is just like garbage. Like, It's just, it's not right. Any one of us. <laughs> I know a ton of people who could be a better person. And who could sort out all of the, uh, the money issues that we have. You know, we don't, we don't give um, money to science so they can, uh, you know, explore new ways of, you know, making a rocket fuel to go to outer space and shit, but they can give them a couple million dollars to dig a hole and fill it back up. That makes a lot of sense. And with the Pentagon, apparently three trillion dollars went missing and then the Pentagon blows up. <laughs> Now, so if, if you have, you know, any ideas, you can make an anonymous, anonymous account or whatever. Post comments below, you know, because we're the people and we have to, we have to do something. Like, we can't let our whole country and the world go into a shit storm because people aren't thinking clearly and are too quick to jump in and start throwing bombs around like right peace also if you have any links for me to check out or uh, any information send it this way